Love is the most beautiful and powerful force in the world. It has the ability to bring two souls together, creating a bond that is strong and unbreakable. Love is not just a feeling, but a commitment to support, cherish, and uplift one another. It's about friendship and companionship. It is about finding someone who accepts us for who we are, someone who encourages us to become the best version of ourselves. According to studies, when it comes to dating, the honeymoon phase wears off after three months, and within five to six months, we as people can no longer show up as our representatives. When love is not built on a solid foundation and it is challenged beyond its limits, the results can be life-changing and not in a good way. 27-year-old Brasia Banks was born and raised in Crossett, Arkansas. She would eventually move with her family to Las Vegas, Nevada before relocating to Los Angeles, California, and finally ending up back where it all started, in Arkansas. After graduating from high school, she went on to study at the University of Arkansas, where she perfected her craft in cosmetology. She enjoyed dancing, spending time with her family, and like most people her age, she loved expressing herself on social media. Her Facebook page was filled with posts regarding fashion, beauty, and of course hair. She was a talented hairstylist and would post photos and videos of her clients on her Facebook. BR Asia identified as being non-binary, using she her pronouns. Being as though she was non-binary, sometimes she would present herself in a more feminine aesthetic and other times she would be more masculine presenting. Brazia would often discuss the adversity she faced in the workplace, offering up advice and encouraging other non-binary and transgender people. By this point in her life, she had made her way to Arizona and began seeing someone by the name of Kenton Lincoln. She loved showing off her relationship. They had been together since November of 2022, and as most couples in this social media era, they could be seen in numerous photos and videos showing one another love and affection. According to her family, on September 5, 2023, at 1.35 a.m., Brasia was brutally murdered. The family claims to have video that shows Brasia entering Lincoln's apartment, but the footage never shows her having left his residence. They stated that they have video and images, posted by Brasia herself, that show Lincoln with a gun laying across his lap. Her family states that he shot her five times with double bullets that left ten exit wounds in her body. What's interesting about this situation is that her murder has not been reported on in any local news outlets. According to the family, Brasia's cell phone is still on because her family can see her as being active on social media. One could argue that someone else could be logging into her Facebook via a PC, but even with this information, there have not been any new posts since August 31, 2023. So what would this person who has access to her social media gain from logging into her social media accounts? If the family has video evidence, I'm sure they would have taken it to the authorities. So, where are the reports? Where is the investigation? There are also conflicting reports about where Briasia lived at the time of her passing. According to the GoFundMe, her family has set up to cover funeral expenses, including having her body transported back to California for burial. She was living in Arizona, but all of Brazia's social media accounts claim she was living in Los Angeles, California. Assumptions would lead one to believe that it may have been an oversight and she simply did not update her location after having moved back to Arkansas and then to Arizona. In some LGBT media reports, they state that the authorities aren't working on the case, but according to other outlets, the authorities have been working on the case, but they have been tight-lipped in sharing information with the family. BR Asia is the 15th trans or gender nonconforming person of color whose violent death has been reported in the United States in 2023. It is important to note that many of these cases are not reported or when they are reported, media outlets use their dead names. Rest in peace to Brasia, and may she and her family find justice. If there are any updates in this case, I will keep you posted. Please like, share, and subscribe for more inclusive true crime.